I want to start with you, George Will, and the IRS. What a week for the IRS. Look at these headlines. IRS targeted Tea Party groups for scrutiny. Searching words like Patriot, Tea Party. Does this sound like a familiar story to you, George Will? Mr. Hicks, when he was in Libya, said his jaw dropped at the explanation back here. This was a jaw-dropping moment. In response to a question at an American Bar Association convention, a second-level IRS person said, oh, by the way, we did target these people. Not progressive. Which apparently they've known about for a while. Oh, the Tea Party people have known about this and have been working on this. And the IRS. But they said, A, it was inadvertent, or just some odd underlings out in Cincinnati who did this, and there was no political motive whatever involved. Now the question is, how stupid do they think we are? Just imagine, Donna Brazil, if the George W. Bush administration had an IRS underling, he's out in Cincinnati, of course, saying, we're going to target groups with the word progressive in their title. We would have all hell break into us. May I read you something from an ancient yes, document? Yes, you may. <laughs> I, I would be surprised if you didn't. This is the 40th anniversary of the Watergate summer here in Washington. <laughs> He has, through his subordinates and agents, endeavored to cause, in violation of the constitutional rights of citizens, income tax audits or other income tax investigations to be initiated or conducted in a discriminatory manner. Section 1, Article 2, the impeachment articles of Richard Nixon. 